Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So for today's video, I am coming back at you with one of my absolute favourite videos to create and film for you guys, and that is a Zara haul. Now, I absolutely love watching Zara hauls on YouTube. They're some of my favourite videos to watch and some of my favourite videos to create. Basically, I just love Zara so, so much. And on the Black Friday sales, I am aware that it is now January, but in the Black Friday sales, I could not help myself um, by getting some pieces that were in the 40% uh, sale thing they had going on. It was crazy. Um, so I've got a huge mid-size Zara haul for you today. So if you want to see what I picked up from Zara this time around, keep watching. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So yeah, as I said, I got most of these in the Black Friday sale that happened like end of November, start of December. Um, but I've only just got around to filming this video. So not gonna lie, most of these pieces I have already worn and took the tags off. So, oops, that will um, basically not very be very helpful when it comes to how much things are because I have worn most of this already. But I still wanted to create the video because I love Zara hauls and I know you guys do too. Just thought I'd get that out there first. But the first piece that I have to show you is this oh i don't know about any of you but i'm having a moment with navy blue at the minute like cannot get enough of it like i absolutely love it so i got this hoodie which i don't normally go for zip up hoodies but with this one i just couldn't help myself and i absolutely love it so it's got some cuff details on the, the sleeves here it's a zip up hoodie as i said there are some drawstrings around the hood as well which is fab nice big hood on it too and this hoodie um is almost a bit cropped as well rather than it being like a really long zip up hoodie it is a bit more on the cropped side of things which i actually really like i haven't really got anything like that in my wardrobe and i just think having a little cropped hoodie it just makes it a little bit different but this navy blue color i'm just absolutely obsessed with it I just think I think it's beautiful. I believe this was from the Limitless Contour collection, which if you haven't seen it on Zara, get to know it really quick because the pieces on there are so affordable. They're really comfy. The materials are fab. I cannot recommend it enough. If you do know what it is, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so I got this hoodie in a size large, which I believe is the biggest size they make this hoodie in. Um, I wish it was an XL. I probably would have got an XL if it was there, but the size L was the biggest size, which is what I got. And I have already taken the tag off, so I can't remember how much it is, but I will put prices and stuff in the description box below so you can find that there. The next thing that I picked up is basically the epitome of Zara at the minute. I have seen these tops everywhere like literally everyone and their mother is wearing these tops and there's a reason for it because they look bloody fab and it is this so it's one of the little ruched tops now i have worn this already and i wore it on my instagram in an instagram post and i had quite a few comments and messages saying how nice the top was and asking me where it was from like literally people are just obsessed with this and i'm definitely in that gang so it's this i think it's called oyster white on the website which that is a beautiful name for a shade name not gonna lie but to me it feels more like an off-white rather than like a dead-on white like i have got some other white t-shirts hanging around my room this feels a bit more like off-white creamy compared to those but i'm not mad about it i think it's beautiful so yeah it's just a long sleeve top completely plain but then the main star piece of this is the little ruching detail going down the middle so you pull that let me see if I can do it so you get that and like the tighter you pull it the more ruched it goes see what I mean so the tighter you pull the little drawstrings at the bottom the more cropped it will go now for me personally I wear it almost completely like pulled out because it is quite cropped on me to begin with. So I only like a little bit of midriff flashing around, not loads. Um, so I wear it like that or a, li a little bit pulled up, but I honestly love this. It looks so beautiful. The neckline is just stunning and it looks so, so flattering. I just, I'm obsessed with it. So I got this top in a size L, which is the biggest size that they make this top in. Again, I wish it did an XL so more people could get onto this, but an L is actually the biggest size 
that they make in this and I'm around 14 16 so just for reference and again I will put the price of this in the description box below for you guys because I have taken the tag off but honestly if you haven't got one of these tops you need to get one before they disappear because this has quickly become one of my favorite tops just to just chuck on so leading on from the white top that I just showed you I don't know about you guys but whenever I find something that I absolutely adore I have to get it in every single colour. I don't know if that's just me or if any of you do it. If you do, let me know in the comments because it literally feels like I'm the only one that does. And it would be nice to think that someone else does the same. But if I find something that I love and I know that fits, I will get it in every single colour. So I've got multiple options. So no surprise that in this haul, I picked up the same top in chocolate brown. Ah! Now... I honestly think I prefer this to the white one because, not going to lie, I'm having a chocolate brown obsession at the minute. Cannot get enough of it. I think it's bloody beautiful. And um, I just think that the chocolate brown thing, I hope it doesn't go away anytime soon because sometimes trends come and go really, really quick. And um, I hope this one stays because I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, exactly the same as the other one. It's long sleeved. And it's got the uh, little drawstring tie thing there to make it ruched and to like crop it and stuff. It's exactly the same. I just, it's just this chocolate brown colour. I just, I friggin' love it, you guys. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And I have worn this and not gonna lie, I wore this to go and see my dad for a walk when it wasn't freezing cold. And even he said, oh, that top's nice. And normally he never, ever notices what I wear. Literally never. So for him to notice a colour or something that I wear it must be a big deal. So I can tell you now that this is family approved too. So I got this top in a size L again, exactly the same as the other one because it was the biggest size and I'm around a 14, 16 usually and an L kind of equates to that. And again, I will put the price of this in the description box below for you guys, but it will be exactly the same as the white one. So continuing the theme with my chocolate brown obsession, I picked up this, which is a little cami vest top in the same chocolate brown colour as the top I just showed you because I told you, if I find something that I like in, in a colour or a style, I'll get it in everything. So yeah, I had to cop this. I'd seen this floating around my local Zara and the Zara in York when I was at uni and the amount of times I walked past it and nearly bought it and somehow convinced myself not to. It got to Black Friday and I was like, no, no, I can't, I can't hold it off any longer. I can't stop thinking about it. I need this in my life. And honestly, um, this fabric is so bloody soft. I, I mean, oh, just, it just feels so nice. And this on your skin is just going to feel so good. And again, like the hoodie that I showed you at the start, this is from the Limitless Contour Collection, which I am completely obsessed with and want to get more pieces from. It's just a really, really nice basics collection that Zara have done. But it's just got these two little spaghetti straps on either side, which I quite like. Instead of it just being one strap, they've kind of made it into a double thing just to make it a little bit different, which I think is really nice. So much stretch in this. Like, even if you are a bigger chested gal, that stretch has got you covered, honestly. There's so much give in that. So I picked this up in a size medium to large and this top was 7 99 which for a cute little cami like that, I think is a pretty reasonable price point and I was more than happy to pay for it. Um, but one thing to note with the Limitless Contour range, they only do a size extra small to small or medium to large, which can be a little bit limiting and a bit frustrating at times. I get the medium to large and I'm around a 14, 16 on top. So they is giving it. And if you are a mid-sized gal, I'm pretty sure the medium to large size will fit you perfectly. Okay, so the next couple of things I'm going to show you together because they are exactly the same thing and I don't want you to be sitting here all day um, watching this video. As much as I'm having fun filming it, I'm trying to save you guys a little bit of time. So I'm going to show you these two things together because they are the same thing, but I just bought it in two different colourways. So leading on from the two long sleeve tops with the little ruching detail... I managed to get these ones. Now, these ones actually came out first and they kept going out of stock and disappearing and, you know, I couldn't find them anywhere. 
and then I went on the app for Black Friday and they appeared so I was like right well if they're there I'm gonna grab one now so it's the same ruching detail um as the other one which is fab you can adjust it um to how cropped or not cropped you want it to be but these will be perfect for the springtime when it gets a little bit warmer um or you could maybe put i don't know i've got a shacket downstairs that would go perfectly with this for like the weather now but i just love it so it's short sleeved um just little like little capped short sleeves there um it's got a nice little v-neck to it which i think is beautiful it's got the ruching detail on it as well which i love and I just, I've seen people wearing these everywhere and I just, I was getting FOMO. Like, I was getting FOMO for real. I just, oh, I couldn't not get them. And this khaki colour at the minute has just been everywhere. But I feel like chocolate brown, khaki and navy blue, they're the colours that are like everywhere and everyone's raving about them at the minute. So I feel like I had to get this, um because khaki is just everywhere and I'm completely obsessed with it and then I also got the same top in the blue colorway now this is a very different color for me to wear but I'm thinking that a nice pop of color um in the springtime when it gets a little bit warmer and um, when maybe like a light blue wash denim vibe or some shorts or something I feel like that would look really really cute and I just I've never had a blue like this in my wardrobe like it's so bright <sighs> I just think it's beautiful so exactly the same as the other one short sleeved v-neck the adjustable ruching detail in the middle but i mainly bought the blue one because it was there and i wanted to try it the khaki one was the one that i was after initially but the blue one was there so i grabbed it as well and these are just such good basic tops that you can just put on with pretty much anything so yeah i grabbed both colorways while they were in stock before they disappeared again and I got both of these tops in a size large, which is the biggest size that they make in these tops. And I'm around a 14, 16, as you know. And both of these were $7.99 each. Okay, so the next thing that I have to show you is absolutely no surprise at all that it has made its way into this Zara haul. Because if you can see what I'm wearing right now underneath my little um, shacket overshirt thing... I'm wearing one of the famous Zara bodysuits. Now, this is my most warm one. This is the black one. I absolutely love it. And when I was on the Zara app on Black Friday, I had a little look and I noticed that there was a different colourway that had appeared. Now, I've pretty much got these bodysuits in every damn colour they make. I love them. The fabric is just a dream come true. It's so comfy. You can go without a bra in them as well, which another win friggin love that so i noticed this khaki colorway in the bodysuit and i was like right that's coming home with me because it's the only color i haven't got yet again if i see something i like i get it in every color i just can't help myself so i got the khaki version of the zara bodysuit and oh my god i'm so happy to have this in my life it feels like i've got the whole like the full set now i've got the whole collection i just i friggin love these i cannot rave about these enough i've tried some from other places like Primark did one, Misguided did one but honestly for me nothing compares to the Zara one like the fabric is so thick um that you're not gonna like get a nip slip and like you know have a little bit of nip showing through honestly I just I can't rave about these bloody things enough I just I love them they go with everything like my favorite kind of outfit would be one of these with a pair of mom jeans and a shacket over the top like for, like literally what i'm wearing now i've literally got a pair of mom jeans on my bottom here and this is a very typical me outfit so i had to get this <laughs> while i saw it before it went out of stock because i needed the khaki colorway in my life because as i said khaki is everywhere right now everyone's going absolutely bonkers for it and rightly so it's beautiful so i got this bodysuit in a size large which is the biggest size that they make the bodysuits in i'm around a 16 and these fit me perfectly and they're not too tight and these bodysuits are 12.99 at full price which i think is a really reasonable price point to be honest with you i can't rave about these enough if someone would sponsor me to talk about these I happily would because I never should have bought them. Okay, so I've got one more top to show you. And lately, I have been trying to branch out and wear more neutrals. Um, I'm kind of a bit of a monochrome girl, like black, white and grey are what I always default to. Um, and I do have the odd pop of colour like I do with this right now. But 
I've seen people on Instagram that I follow like absolutely killing the neutrals game and I really wanted to try and wear neutrals more because it's just something that I haven't really done before so I saw this little long sleeve cropped up on the Zara app I just thought it was really nice and this ribbed fabric it just adds a bit of texture to the, t to the top as well so it's not just like completely plain ribbed leggings tops you name it I just I just love this fabric I think it's fab so I saw this little long sleeved um sand colored top that's what the app said anyway this color is called sand apparently and I just loved it and I just thought it would be really nice to go with maybe like white denim or um like a beigey denim or um maybe black or something I just thought it was really really nice and I just thought I'd try it and um see if i like the color or not and i thought if i don't then i can just send it back but i've worn this um style it up with a couple of outfits um to wear when we get out of lockdown and i really liked how it looked so i decided to keep it but honestly i just they're really good basics like i'm all about basic pieces you can wear in like a whole bunch of ways and this kind of top ticks that box for me so i got this top in a size large which is my normal size and i think it's the biggest size they make these tops in and these tops are around 9.99 each they do them in this sand color and there's a black and a white as well which i do want to get my hands on because i absolutely love this one and i think the black and white would be a logical step to take so i've got one in each color um, of a good little basic top okay so the next couple of things that i have to show you i'm going to group together because again it's the same thing but i got it in two different colorways and that is a pair of faux suede leggings now for me this is a very daring thing for me to purchase but i've seen people wearing them and like on pinterest as well and i just think they look really really nice and honestly i'm all about the leggings life like since all these lockdowns i've really embraced wearing leggings more because they're just so comfy and if you make the right outfit with them i think they can look really really nice and you're comfy as well which is fab so i picked up these beige um beige faux suede leggings um i just thought this color was really different and again i'm trying to wear more neutral things and add more neutral pieces to my wardrobe which yeah i'm really enjoying so far and these leggings i have actually worn them already and i'm obsessed with them i just think they're so nice and this faux suede so soft <laughs> it's so nice i love it and also because of the lining underneath as well they're really easy to get on as well which i really really like there's a zip detail down the side there as well which makes it easy to get it over my bum which i love and also another little cute detail that these leggings have is that they have a little zip um on the leg as well so that whole split hem trend thing that's doing the rounds at the minute you can recreate that with these leggings because that zip actually opens it's not just there for an accessory it actually works so you can have them done up i wear i don't undo the zip personally but i know that, that split hem thing was having a bit of a moment towards the end of last year but honestly they're just they've got a nice stretchy waistband there which is great and i just i think they're a really nice basic thing and i am enjoying wearing leggings a lot more than i used to so i got them in beige and then i also got them in black because let's face it black is my ultimate happy color and i couldn't get i couldn't not get black it's what i wear the most i literally love black so much so i got exactly the same thing in black as well as the beige there is another colorway i think it's called brandy or something and i do want to get that as well because i just i'm obsessed with these i just think i just think they're fab i just love these they're a really nice basic piece that you can do a lot with which i'm all about and i'm really enjoying wearing these so far i've made some really really cute outfits with them and i can't wait to wear them when we eventually are allowed out for something other than going to the supermarket but we'll have to see so i picked up both of these leggings in a size xl um in both the black and the beige i got a size xl um which is what i normally get in zara on bottoms um but they do go up to an XXL as well. So if you are a little bit bigger than me, I'm around a 16-ish on my bottom. For some reason, when I've tried these on before, the beige ones go on easier than the black ones do. 
I don't know why. I don't, I, honestly, I wish I knew why, but they don't. The these ones seem to go on easier than the black, but they both do fit me, so that's fine. But if you are unsure on what size to get, maybe size up rather than down. Okay, so the next thing that I have to show you, it's probably going to be really, really hard for me to show on camera, and it's probably not going to look very, very nice at this point. But I actually saw, um, well, her old channel name was Hello October, but she's changed it to her actual name, which is Susie Bernaldi now. And she literally finds the nicest things on Zara. Like, her Zara hauls are my favourite things to watch on YouTube. I just can't get enough of them. Like, she finds the nicest bits. A couple of months ago, she found this dress, um, and it was in one of her hauls. And I was like, that looks fab. Like... I just fell in love with it so I managed to track it down and I bought it for myself and it's in this gorgeous like burnt orangey brown kind of colour. It looks a bit more orange on camera than it is in real life but it is on the orangey brown kind of spectrum rather than like a chocolate brown but I absolutely love it. I mean I know it's not awesome anymore but this to me is just so autumnal. I just I freaking love it. And I saw it in Susie's haul and I just could not pick it up. So it's got a little round neck at the top and it's short sleeved. It's in this beautiful ribbed fabric that I absolutely love. But the main star of the show is that it's got the whole um, ruching detail um, going along down the side. So you can customise the length. So if you're a bit shorter, maybe around like five foot two or something, you could pull the drawstrings tighter to make it shorter. Um, I'm around five foot six, so I'll probably... Tight, tighten it a little bit but not too much because I don't like things really really short it just I get a bit self-conscious about it but what I like is that because of those drawstrings people can customize how long or short they have it depending on how tall they are or how short they want it to be which I think is really nice because it means people can do what they want with it rather than it being a fixed length this ruching thing is all over Zara at the moment like it's definitely a very in thing um, and I'm not mad about it I think it's really really beautiful I couldn't help myself I saw it in Susie's haul and she did a try on clip with it and I just thought wow I need that I was influenced basically I don't like to say it but I was, I was influenced. So I picked this dress up in a size L, which is the biggest size they make this dress in, and I'm around a 16. And this dress was 9.99, which for a gorgeous little dress like this, which is such a basic piece, I think that's a really, really reasonable price point. And I can't wait to get more wear out of this when it's not freezing cold. Okay, so we've actually come down to the last thing in this haul which i can't believe and i think i've saved probably maybe the best thing till the end or probably like the most daring thing till the end and that is these now faux leather is such an autumn winter vibe and i have got a few pieces in faux leather and um, mainly like leggings um whereas these even though they are leggings then they feel like more like faux leather trousers to me and i've seen everyone wearing these literally everyone who's done a zara haul has picked these up um in some color or in some shape or form and i saw this chocolate brown colorway and i just couldn't help myself like i said i'm having a chocolate brown obsession so i saw these and i just completely fell in love and i could not stop thinking about them so they're just faux leather like all the way down they haven't got that nasty fishy smell too which if you've had faux leather pieces before, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's absolutely rank. It does go away after a bit, but it's absolutely rank. But this doesn't have that nasty smell, which is a bonus. <laughs> Just thought I'd put that out there. It's got little belt loops as well. So if you need to bring the waist in, um, you can do that, which is great. They look like jeans almost because they've got the belt loops and then they've got like um, a button as well at the top and, and a little zip fly. And I just think it makes a, a pair of leggings look that little bit smarter and a little bit more expensive than it actually is. So you get leggings that look like jeans. I just, I just think they're brilliant and they're faux leather. So you're on trend and comfy too. And I just, I couldn't resist this chocolate brown colourway. I just think it's brilliant. So I got these in a size XL 
and these were 19.99 which for a pair of faux leather legging trousers i think it's a really reasonable price point and honestly i could have paid more and i would have paid more for these but i think 19.99 is pretty reasonable and the quality feels really really nice as well they feel, feel really well made there's a definite like waistband as well honestly i just can't wait to wear these and style them up with a whole load of things and just just so you know these actually go up to an xxl as well like the faux suede leggings they have got a little bit more of a wider size range oh i'm so excited to wear them out somewhere nice and that's it. That is everything that I picked up from Zara this time around. I am aware that this is more of an autumnal themed haul, but I've literally just got around to filming this video. I'm honestly so behind. So apologies for that. I will put prices and links in the description box for you if things are still available, because obviously with the sales going on at the moment, things might be out of stock or not available anymore, but I'll do my best to try and find things for you. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching that. I honestly love Zara hauls. I love Zara. I think it's really fab and I I think they have some really timeless pieces that we can all put into our wardrobes thank you for watching if you got this far i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed this video you know the drill by now guys smash a thumbs up for me it's just a really clear way for me to see whether you enjoy um certain videos or not so i know what to create and stuff in the future and if you are new around here i would absolutely love it if you could smash that subscribe button below as well and join the little the little gang that we've got going on here it would be so so good to have you and i'd love it if you stayed around for all my future videos also if you click the bell you'll get a notification when i upload so you don't miss anything which is fab i'm honestly so determined to get to 500 subscribers that's like my next goal and by the end of 2021 i would love to hit 1000 subscribers so please subscribe if you like me and you like fashion content because i can deliver that for you and it would be so so good to hit that milestone this year if you want to come chat to me on instagram you can i'll put my username on the bottom of the screen here so you can come find me there that will be the easiest way to see these pieces styled and what i do with them um and also i'm on instagram the most and it's probably the easiest way to get hold of me so come say hi over there i'm always on instagram i love it apart from youtube it's probably one of my favorite platforms to create content for i absolutely love it and we've got a really nice community over there as well so come say hi leave a comment below what was your favorite piece do you think i should keep everything or is there something you absolutely hate and think, think i should um sell on or donate or send back or whatever let me know in the comments i'd love to know what you guys think yeah and we can have a little conversation about all things Zara but I think that wraps up this video so thank you very much for watching I love you all loads and I will see you soon for a brand new video bye guys